So this section is about math requirements for deep learning and also how to implement those math concepts in a Python. So I can say in upcoming series of lecture present important concept that form the mathematical bricks upon which deep learning is built. So, so what I mean by mathematical bricks? So I can say the foundation where the deep learning actually exists or how deep learning is built. So the mathematic underlying the deep learning is not so difficult. It's just a very, very, very straightforward math. So this video is all about how to represent real world outcome using numbers and the difference between dummy coding and one hold in coding. Here we go. So there are two types of reality. One is continuous and second is categorical. So continuous reality means we can represent it using a number. So it's a numerical value. So it's as many as numbers can and it's a possibly infinite. So it have distinct values. So for example, height, exam scores, income, review scores, something like that, which actually change over time. So let me clear by the example. So this is a kind of height. So height is not a kind of like a fixed value. For some people it's 5.9, for some people it's, it's 6.1, some are like under 5. Let's go toward the categorical data. So it's actually a discrete value, it's a limited value, it's, type typically a, it's typically a few distinct value. For example, a landscape, a sea versus mountain, pictures, identity, cat or dog, disease diagnosis. So what it means, it's categories, either 1 or 0. So deep learning model actually learn from the numbers not from the reality actually so you have to convert the reality into the number first so that's why there are two types of reality one is continuous and second is categorical i hope you understand what's the difference between continuous and categorical so representing categorical data on computer goes by one of the following method uh, one is dummy coding another one is one hot encoding so one hot encoding is literally like bizarre, confusing term for some reason. It's because um, something comes up often in deep learning. So let's exemplify these. So dummy coding is something which you can give um, the value with zero or one, which is false or true. As say student pass or fail, how sold or in the market, is there a fraud detection? Yes or no? Something like that. So in computer, they actually create a single vector. Okay, I will try to explain this how this work actually behind the scenes um, in the next couple of slides. So let me clear what is one hot encoding now. So so one hot encoding is similar to dummy encoding. It is something a combination of dummy encoding. I mean one or more dummy encoding create one hot encoding. So it's actually creating a matrix. So the examples are image recognition, handwritten letter recognitions. I will try to explain what is dummy encoding and how it's actually represent in the computer in the next slide. So in reality, this is the pass, pass, fail. This is kind of like a student uh, output, whether it's pass or fail. So pass is one, pass is one, and zero is fail. So if we see how it represent in Python or in PyTorch, it actually is like that. It's creating a vector of one, one, zero. This one in the top here is say pass, pass, and zero means fail. So this, this is how machine learning actually understand the data, not on the basis of pass, pass, fail. All right, so let's explore a one hot encoding now. So this is the basic example of one hot encoding. You can see this is kind of genre Y1 and Y2 and Y3. And based on the genre, we have to say which movie is uh, actually associated to Y1 and Y2 and Y3. If you see here, so Y1 is not a history movie. It is sci-fi movie and it's not a kid movie. So Y2 is not a history, not a sci-fi, but it's a kid movie. And Y3 is history movie, not a sci-fi movie, and not a kid movie. So, so how we can represent this table into a computer so it so that machine learning understand. So this genre, Y1, only associated with the sci-fi, not with the history and kids. So this is how we can do it. So we simply create a matrix. So where 0 means history here, it means Y1 is not fall in the category of history. It is fall in the category of sci-fi if the one here. So zero one zero 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 one one zero zero something like that. So this is all about uh, dummy encoding, one hot encoding, and different type of data and how we can represent data in the computers. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.